A few days ago, I uploaded a video in which I demonstrated how hackers can crack passwords using Hashcat with the help of the RockU word list. Now one might ask, what if the password is not in the RockU word list? Well, we could try brute force, but that would take a very long time. What if I told you we can create a custom word list using information we already know about the user? In this video, I'm going to show three different ways to create your own custom word lists in Kali Linux. So if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you're interested in learning cybersecurity and ethical hacking, check out the first link in the description. All right, so the name of our first tool is CUP or Common User Password Profiler. It is written in Python, and when you run it in interactive mode, it'll ask you for personal details about the user and create a word list accordingly by mixing that information and, and adding other stuff, like adding random numbers at the end or adding special characters and many others. One can easily install it in Kali Linux by using apt type sudo apt install cup with double p. If you get any error, make sure your system is updated. Once it is installed, we can type cup-h to view the help of cup. There are multiple cool features like we can run this in interactive mode as I said, and dash l to download word lists and dash w to make an already available word list better. If we do cup i, you can see it's asking us for the details. Let me just quickly fill in some random information here. After I enter this basic information, it is asking me if I want to enter some keywords about the victim. Let's say yes. And here, let me just put some random information. Then it is asking us if we want to add some special characters at the end of words. We'll say yes, and the same for the random number. I don't want leap mode, so no. Now when I press enter, you can see here we have our word list with this number of words. And if I cat this txt file, you can see all of the words it created. If we run cup with the dash l flag, we can download different word lists. For example, let's say I want to download this databases one, so I'll just enter its number and it'll start downloading. And if you already have any word list and you want to make it better by adding random characters at the end or maybe numbers, then you can use this dash w flag and pass it the word list file and it'll generate a better word list from your original word list. You can see the other options yourself, there's pretty much nothing else except this dash a flag, which doesn't do much and downloads some word lists from ElectoDB or whatever it is, I don't know much about it. Anyway, the next tool on my list is Cbule. It is another custom word list generator in Kali Linux. You can install it easily using apt, just type sudo apt install cedbul. Now this one is quite different from the previous tool as it scrapes websites and creates word lists from them. That can be very useful if you're doing web pen testing and want to create a word list that's more related to a site. As a simple example, we can run it by typing CEWL and then the URL we want to spider. I'll just use the link to my own site as it would be illegal to scrape other websites without permission. If I press enter, you can see it has scraped a bunch of words from my page. There's not much text there, so the list is kind of small. But there's more to this tool. If we type CEWL dash, help you can view the help. And if we look at the flags one by one, there's a dash K flag to keep the downloaded file and a dash D flag, which specifies the number of web pages to spider. The default is two, but we can increase it if we want more pages on the website to be scraped. We can also set minimum and maximum word length if we don't want words that are too short or too long. You can write the output to a file read the rest of the options yourself. Now let's create a word list. We'll type CIDW, then dash D to specify depth, let's say four, dash X for maximum word length. Let's set it to eight, minimum word length two, write all the output to wordlist.txt, and then finally the URL. If I press enter, our word list is generated, and if I cat it, you can see the words in the word list. We can use them for brute forcing SSH passwords, FTP logins, or on-site login pages. This website was kind of small and didn't have many words, but a bigger website can have more words and create larger word lists. Next on, we have Crunch. Now this one is super interesting and my favorite. That's why I've added it at the end of the video. Like other tools, you can install Crunch with sudo just by typing sudo apt install crunch. This will start installing Crunch and once it's installed, you can type Crunch in your terminal. You'll see something like this. Now this might look extremely simple, like we just have to specify the minimum password length and maximum password length, and then it'll generate a word list for us, but it's not that simple. 
They don't have a help flag. Instead, they have a man page. Let's have a look at that man page and then we'll come back here to create some word lists. You can type man crunch to open the manual page for crunch. And if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of information. Things get even more broader in the man page. As you can see, we have other options here like the dash B option to specify the size of the output. You can read the other ones yourself, but I'll cover some of the useful ones like the dash I flag, which will invert the output, the dash O flag to write output to a text file, and the dash P flag to specify a char set of words. We'll see this practically in a moment. The T flag is also very interesting as it allows us to specify a pattern. For example, if we already know that someone's password starts with a specific name or character, we can set it here. Also, we can zip our output using the dash Z flag to make the size smaller. Now, let's see this in our terminal. First, we need to type crunch and then the minimum password length, let's say I want it to be 8, and then the maximum password length, let's say I want it to be 8 as well. Then we can specify a character set like lowercase alphabets, uppercase alphabets, numbers, and even special characters. Let's set numbers for this example only. After that, we can specify the T flag to define our pattern. For example, if I know the password starts with a name, let's say Bob, and after the word Bob, all other characters are numbers, then I'll just specify percent five times after Bob. Now it'll generate a word list with Bob at the start and five numbers after that. Now let's say you even remember the last character of the password, let's say eight. You can remove the percent sign from that position and enter the number there. Now Crunch will only need to guess a four digit number, which will make the word list even smaller. You can write your output to a file by using the dash O flag and specifying the word list name. If the word list size is too big, you can use the dash B flag to divide it into chunks like chunks of 20 megabytes or 50 megabytes. In this way, it'll create multiple files if the word list size is large. Now, if you know details about the victim, like their name or other details, you can use the dash P flag and specify those details after that and it'll generate all possible variations. It's a pretty awesome tool. If you want to learn more, you can check out the examples in the man file. There are tons of them there. You can learn from them and make your word list stronger and increase your success rates. So these were three different methods for making custom word lists in Kali Linux. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video as you'll often see content related to cybersecurity and ethical hacking here. And if you want to learn cybersecurity and ethical hacking, you can check out the first link in the description. It has everything you need, like all my guides and courses, access to all the tools I create, and a private community where we talk about hacking and cybersecurity. So make sure to check it out. And that's all. Until we meet next time, stay blessed and happy hacking.